Previously on my Dragon Ball or for Surrogates video, I went through and pointed out characters who share the closest traits to the franchise creator and manga artist Akira Toriyama. Now I will list the characters who classify as the audience surrogate. People that are supposed to either relate with us the most, or who are introduced to the world along with the audience. Without further ado, let's go. The initial audience surrogate of Dragon Ball is... Well, Kid Goku, who is the first character we see in the manga. When the audience is introduced to Goku as a young boy out in the country, he is blissfully unaware of what the Dragon Balls are, the wacky adventures and characters he will encounter, and the world surrounding him, much like the audience towards the start of the series. Due to Toriyama's discovery writing style when penning Dragon Ball, he didn't know about any, or at least, most of the formally mentioned information, so Goku in turn would be an author audience surrogate? I don't think so, as I'm sure Goku is more of an audience surrogate, but just has aspects relating to the author. When Goku meets Bulma for the first time and travels with her, it is when he learns about the larger world around him, and this reflects the audience. He doesn't even know his origin or where his tale came from, and neither do we. This is not explained until the Saiyan arc that was written years later, but still. After Goku became an adult, married Chi Chi, and the Dragon Ball Z era of the story was underway, Gohan became the new audience surrogate, following in Goku's footsteps after his childhood escapades. In the first episode of the Dragon Ball Z anime, Gohan's experiences in the woods greatly contrast to Goku's in episode 1 of the original Dragon Ball anime. While Goku easily navigates through the landscape and seems to be scared of nothing, Gohan is quite the opposite, he is supposed to be relatable to younger kids that way. However, when Raditz, the first out of the three Saiyans arrive, kidnaps Gohan, and then he is later trained by Piccolo, is where we see him explore the world the most. The dragon world can be a scary place, and we see that across Gohan's travels, as he is the second audience surrogate of the series. A lot of younger kids started watching the Dragon Ball Z anime, and although I personally can't relate, I know stories of people projecting a bit of themselves onto the character of Gohan. From an out-of-universe perspective, the people that watch Dragon Ball Z have grown up over the years and have gotten used to the tropes, character types, and story devices in the Dragon Ball franchise. So, with Dragon Ball GT, the audience surrogate is sort of non-existent. You could argue Pan, but remember, just because a character is a kid doesn't mean they are an audience surrogate by default. The final audience surrogate to talk about is Zeno from Dragon Ball Super. While he is an audience surrogate, it's not in the sense of him being guided through the Dragon Ball world along with us. Instead, he gets excited when we're excited and reacts similar to how we react. Let's take Goku vs. Jiren as an example and how he was so excited at the fight. So were we when the special occurred. Oh, and also, when Ribrian was fighting in the Tournament of Power, the two Zenos were reenacting her attacks, which could be a reference to people creating GIFs and memes regarding Dragon Ball Super over social media. Who knows? There's always a possibility, though. What other audience surrogates can you spot in Dragon Ball? Do you agree with my picks for the audience surrogates? Let me know in the comment section down below. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.